Here's my garage door sensor. Um, uses the Wemos D1 Mini ESP8266, and that will talk MQTT messages over to my uh, home automation system. I'm using Home Assistant. Uh, I've got a light sensor here, so it'll tell me how much, if the lights are on or off. Um, a DHT22, temperature and humidity. Just a cheap motion sensor, just so I know when there's motion in the garage. And I've got these headers to plug in that into. Let's plug that guy in. Um, and then these connect to a ping sensor that will tell me if the cars are in the stall or not. I've got a two-car garage. And this will tell me, this will look either way and tell me if the car's in the garage or not. I'll snap the Wemos D1 Mini into here in these headers. Just plugs right in. We'll get power out of the USB port. And here I've got a six screw terminals, um, one door sensor and one for the third stall garage. So this will be the first door and it has the two car garage door on it. This will be the one car garage door and this will be the actuator for the garage door opener. I only have one garage door opener on the main door. I don't have one on the other one so this one's actually looking at the lock of the second one. 3D printed a case for the ping sensors and I added these little gussets in the corner that just holds the PCB up so that way when you place it in it doesn't fall all the way to the bottom and those just barely stick out to protect them and then we take this other side and it just snaps on the top and that holds the ping sensor together um, I made this 3D printed case for this guy, we gotta feed the ping sensor connectors through the two holes. In the top, and slide them down. Get the wire out so it stops pushing against us. And then I've got a little hole for the light sensor, the motion sensor, the temperature and humidity sensor just kind of pokes out the side there. And then I can get out all my screw terminals to wire that in. And then we've got the back, the bottom side, which just snaps on to there like that. And there it is. And I'm using these command strips to attach it to the garage door opener to hold it up there. Ping sensors slide on like this. And then these plug into in, plug into them. Like so. I just made this little uh, angle piece. It's got that kind of shape on each side. A little dovetail just to kind of Hold it up against the gravity. Hold it up against the gravity. And then we'll plug this guy in. Similar to the other side. And there's my sensor. So it'll mount upside down like that. The pink sensors will look left and right. And the motion sensor and the light sensor. And we'll go and uh, install this up there and I'll show you how it's like. So here it is mounted to the garage door opener. I've got one switch coming from the smaller garage door. The other magnetic switch coming from the main garage door that this opener is actually attached to. Um, those are just some cheap magnetic reed switches that I got online. Then I just got some phone wire here. This goes into the um, garage door opener which is follows these same wires up here these come from the button in the laser sensor down below um, and I just stuck them in the same hole as the garage door button currently 
and then those are attached to here and then I've got a couple of opto couplers in there to connect those for my particular garage door opener if you short these together then it opens the garage door but if you put a 200 ohm resistance across it then it actuates the light so I have two opto couplers in there one to short them together and then one to short them across a 200 ohm resistor to turn on the light this phone charger coming in that I just plugged up on the ceiling same place as where the garage door opener is plugged into and it's just giving me from my 5 volts to my Wemos my light sensor, motion sensor and my two ultrasonic sensors tell me if the car is in the garage or not uh, I'll turn you around and I'll show you how uh, that door works alright I've got the camera turned around here and I've got my home assistant pulled up I've got my main garage door and my small garage door controls uh, I've got my main garage door light turn that light on and off Works pretty good as you can see I've got garage door distance one and two I've only got one vehicle in and that's in the garage two spot that's the second ping sensor the other one's just looking at the floor there uh, garage temp and humidity uh, my motion right now is off and my garage door light says it's on and there's the reading from the light dependent resistor and my signal strength for my Wi-Fi. All right, now I'll show you how the garage door works. You can see it's closed. I'll tell it to go up. And stop it. You see the icon changed, showing that the garage door is open. Now I will tell it to close. There you go, and you can see the icon changed back to closed. Uh, thanks for watching. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more projects.